Hello and welcome to Turner Time Tutorials. This video is on how to use your iPad as a Wi-Fi hotspot. If you're in a location where you're unable to receive a Wi-Fi signal and you need to use your laptop, you may want to use your iPad as a personal hotspot. This means you can turn the iPad settings so that the iPad will generate a Wi-Fi signal that can be used by other wireless devices. So tap settings and the first thing we need to do is turn on cellular data which means that the iPad is going to be using your cellular data connection just like if it were your cell phone. So I'm going to tap cellular data and I'm going to turn cellular data on. Now the personal hotspot option is available. It's no longer grayed out. So I'm going to tap personal hotspot and now I'm going to tap to turn the personal hotspot on. You may get a warning letting you know that Bluetooth is not on. If you turn on your hotspot, it's only going to be available to be a USB or Wi-Fi, meaning you can plug your laptop or other device into your iPad with a USB cord to use the internet, or you can use Wi-Fi. A Bluetooth enabled device and you want to be able to access the Wi-Fi signal via Bluetooth, you're going to want to tap turn on Bluetooth. So I'm going to select Wi-Fi and USB only. And now my iPad is generating a Wi-Fi signal. Your iPad automatically generates a Wi-Fi password. You're going to want to make note of this Wi-Fi password. On your laptop, you'll need the password to access the wireless connection. So now let's go turn on wireless access on my laptop. Now we're on my laptop, which uses Windows 7 as the operating system. But you can also do pretty much the same on one running Windows XP and Windows 8 is also going to be similar. What you want to do is hover your cursor over your internet icon in the bottom right corner of your taskbar. So if I left click on this, it brings up all the available wireless networks in my neighborhood. And if you scroll down the list, you'll see one that has something very similar to your iPad's name. Mine has some interesting characters in there. I'm not sure why those got tossed in there, but you can see clearly it says Kim's iPad. That's the connection that I want, so if I click on it, left click the connect button, and then I'm going to type in the security key, which is the Wi-Fi password that's generated by my iPad, and to see this, all you have to do is tap on personal hotspot and settings that it shows up. So I'm going to type mine in and click on OK, and you can see it's connecting down here. And then if you have a good enough signal, you'll go ahead and you'll be connected to the internet. And to turn it off, I'm just going to click again, click on my iPad, and click on disconnect. You're going to want to make sure that you keep an eye on your cellular data usage on your iPad. Because as we all know, our data plans for our iPad are not unlimited on most carriers. So if you have a 2 or a 5 gigabyte limit, means you don't want to do a lot of social networking or watch movies or anything that takes a lot of data up because you're going to really reach your limit on your cellular bill and you may incur overages. So just use your Wi-Fi hotspot from your iPad for limited important things, checking email. You're going to want to make sure that you turn off personal hotspot and cellular data on your iPad if you're not using it anymore. If you have any questions, please email info at getturnertime.com. Thanks for watching and have a productive day.